My name is Jody Willoughby. Carolyn Jackson. And we are the Crave co-founders. All of the recipes that we started with are all our um, family recipes. So Jody and I, our sisters, grew up on a farm um, outside of Calgary in um, High River, Alberta. Um, it'll be 20 years this September. Um, and we now have six locations. So we have four in Calgary, one in Edmonton, and one in Saskatoon. Um, in the last couple of years, we actually also opened up a production facility um, where we do some of the baking for the stores. We launched a consumer product good line that is available in grocery stores um, across Alberta. We started the launch with um, Calgary Co-op, which was a super exciting local venture for us. So um, we've wrapped up our cake mix, our cookie dough, um, which is frozen and pre-portioned, um, and our buttercream, which is also frozen and can be found in grocery stores. Um, and then with the consumer product goods line to have it available in grocery stores across Western Canada um, in the next couple of years and then hopefully across Canada uh, sort of within the next five years. So that's sort of what's on the horizon for us right now. So we feel it's important to hire women um, as when we were growing up, um, our father passed away when we were teenagers. And so we saw our mom, who was a teacher, she was always involved um, in the farm books. Our dad was, as a, was a farmer. Um, and so we saw the, you know, really truly value of being educated, being involved in the business for us learning to be independent and strong women on our own um, was always really important to us. So that's why we love to employ women. Even from when we very first started, you could tell that sometimes we weren't being taken seriously. We were just these like young girls opening up a cupcake shop and it's very fluffy. And I think it's really important for women to remain leaders. I think it's a really difficult and onerous decision, you know, if you have children, if you don't have children, but to really stay in the workforce. Calgary is a really unique city. Um, we've always been very fortunate that Calgarians have embraced us from the minute we first opened our doors in September of 2004. We hit the streets and we went to events and we talked to Calgarians and we told them who we are and we shared our product with them and people really embraced us. And I remember one time Carol and I were driving, we left early one day and we saw people in the neighborhood walking into our store and walking out of our store with our, you know, carrying their Crave bags and it just made our hearts so happy and, and a real humble experience for us to have Calgarians embrace us. And, you know love our product as much as we do and that was always why we started our business was to share these lovely you know desserts with as many people as possible I think being a part of the Calgary Chamber of Commerce is really important. You know, being a part of a business community, um, being a part of something that's advocating on your behalf. As a small business owner, um, it's really been impactful being invited to events where, you know, our voice is being heard, where, you know, maybe in previous years they haven't been heard. So yeah, it's been a really, um, really great experience. You know, Carolyn and I have been, um, you know, kind of independent on our own for a really long time. And to be able to be a part of this community and be exposed to different small table events, large table events where we get to mix and mingle and hear our, you know, get to hear our voices heard at a table where we wouldn't usually, you know, have enough um, confidence to speak up. So we've done other collaborations with small business in Calgary. You know, it's a small community. And so to be able to meet up with people who are in that same mindset has been, you know, just a really great way for us to have that community that's always around and always celebrating each other, right? Always lifting each other up and, and wanting to be a part of your business and you're a part of their business to share that success. Our advice to new local business owners would be, of course, to join the Calgary Chamber. Um, our experience and our benefits and the things that we've been exposed to as a small business have been just so incredibly positive for us. Um, you have to have a passion for what you're doing. The days can sometimes be long, the hours are long and you have to truly love what you're doing and have a real passion for it. We often will have cupcake days to remind <laughs> ourselves of why we do what we do. And I think, you know, Carolyn and I 
even after 20 years, that we still love what we're doing. Crave is a female-founded, female-led company. And what it does is it shows other young women in this city that they can be part of something that they create themselves. They can chart their own future, they can seize an idea, they can run with it, they can get funded, and they can actually build a business that's known for its incredibly tasty product. It's a different kind of business, and it's, it's been successful, it continues to be successful, and it's not like, you know, we know that Calgary's had some difficult times over the last 10 years, and Crave has weathered all the challenges. It has been able to adapt to the changing business environment, and whether it's the economic environment, whether it's the supply chain issues, it's a company that has shown its ability to adapt, and it serves Calgarians from in every quadrant of the city. And when you see women-led businesses, and girls and younger women see themselves they can see themselves in those positions. Or, you know, they, we often say, if you can see it, then you can be it. This is a great example.